Francois, he's an amazing guy, okay? Can you say that in Mongolian? <laughs> and uh, I hope Francois will go to Russia someday. Подписывайтесь, ставьте лайки. Увидимся в другом видео. If you can cook good toivang, then you're a good wife material. It's, there's a saying in Mongolian. Can you cook good to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and together, this mix will do great. Kazakh name. Kazakh uh, name. Pretty name, pretty girl. <laughs> oh, you're Uzbekistan. And you're from Kazakhstan. Hey guys, I am in Dongdaemun, Seoul right now. This is the international market area in Dongdaemun where you'll find all of the markets, all of the restaurants from Central Asia. This is the place to be. Okay, the really cool thing about this international area is that like on this street, you can find so many restaurants from Russia, Uzbekistan. I think there is a Kazakhstan restaurant down here as well, but also from my favorite country to visit, Mongolia. Here's an Uzbekistan restaurant that just opened about uh, one month ago. I ate here, I think maybe two weeks ago and it was really, really good. So, um, I forgot samsa. what is samsa? samsa. Samsa. This is samsa. 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 Is Uzbekistan food? Tom. Yo, Uzbekistan bread always looks so delicious. Like, oh my god! Like, well, what is what is the name of this bread? Uh, Uzbekistan bread. Naan. Just naan. Like Indian naan. Uh, even here, you have. Uzbekistan Airways. So I'm going to Uzbekistan this summer and I actually might have to use this airline to go from Mongolia to, no, to go from Kazakhstan to Uzbekistan. So yeah, this area comes in handy for me. I'm not sure what kind of restaurant this is or what kind of market this is. The language is Cyrillic. So it could be Russian or Uzbek or Mongolian maybe. But um, yeah, it looks like they have a lot of cool things on the inside. Unfortunately, they would let me film inside of the store, but uh, yeah, it was an Uzbekistan store and they had a lot of like candies and carpets and other things that you could buy that come from Uzbekistan. So some food stuff as well. So yeah, if you are into Uzbekistan things, if you are Uzbek, then that store is for you. <laughs> Okay, so if you are wanting to ship some packages from Korea to Central Asia, then you can come here to the EMS post and they'll take care of all of your like packing needs. You can see inside, there's actually like um, a person in there packing boxes. So yeah, this is the place where you want to come to ship things to Central Asia. Here is another uh, EMS shipping, shipping company. And this company ships, I think that flag is Uzbekistan, there's Russia, and I don't know what this flag here is. What is that? Can I take a video? You want to take a video? Oh, okay. Can I take a video of you? Okay, take yes. a video? Oh, are you from Kazakhstan? 10 years. 10 years. Ah, it's really cool. Yeah, I was looking at that flag. I was like, okay, I know that's Uzbekistan, but I don't know what that is. This is a Kazakhstan flag. Kazakhstan? Russia and Uzbekistan. Russia and Uzbekistan. Ah, Where very good. That? I'm from America. America? Yeah. You're from Almaty? Almaty. That's one of the places I'm going to uh, this summertime. Almaty is so beautiful. Really? Coffee, coffee. Wow. <laughs> so nice. I just wanted to ask one question, but now they're offering me a coffee. This is... Too cool. <laughs> so you only, oh, sure. Oh yes, good. That coffee. That coffee is good. <laughs> you only ship. You only ship packages to Uzbekistan and uh, uh, Kazakhstan, America, Europe. So if you want to send packages to Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Russia, or America, please make sure you follow this card and call this number. They'll hook you up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yo, I got a new follower on Instagram. Okay, okay, okay. How do I say your name? Uh, my name is Samal. Samal, very yeah. pretty name. Uh, 
Kazakh name. Kazakh name. Uh, pretty name, pretty girl. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Kazakh. Kazakhstan people. No, Uzbekistan people. Uzbek. Uzbekistan. Uh, Uzbekistan. Oh, you're Uzbekistan. And you're from Kazakhstan. Yes. And you're from Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Okay, so I always have this question. If I go to Uzbekistan, because I'm African American, I'm black, uh, no people oh. hate me. Ah, black person, blah, 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 blah. It's same, same, same people. Same people, yeah. so it's no problem. Yeah. Uh, in our country, they love foreigners and treat them well. Ah, very good. It's so difficult to talk to you. I don't know English. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry. You're doing okay. No worries. Thank you for inviting me for coffee. What Thumbnail is? picture, like. Picture. Oh, no, no, just, picture. just film. Picture. Just, hey. Okay. Hi. 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 Assalamu alaikum. Oh, wa alaikum salam. Yes. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> you are Muslim? I'm not Muslim. Uh, uh, I'm Christian, but I, I understand a little Islam. Very well. Uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, there's even a hair studio here. It says Ojel Heya. So I guess this is like also uh, Uzbekistan or Russian uh, hair salon. There's even a T-Mobile. Uh, T-Mobile, that's in America. And uh, yeah, so there's a phone store here for people from Central Asia. Like if you need help activating your phone, then you can come here. Somsa Shal was Sha Shilik. Sha Shlik. Yo, this is also a Uzbek uh, restaurant. I'm going to make my way to all of the Uzbek restaurants here in the neighborhood as soon as I learn how to say the names properly. <laughs> there is another Uzbek restaurant up there. I think that's Uzbek. Samar Kano. I think, yeah, Uzbekistan restaurant. But also there's um, like a billiard room up there. This star, Samar Khan, this is the most famous Uzbekistan restaurant in this area. This is like really, really famous. The line going into this restaurant during lunch and during like the peak hours is always going around the corner. This place is so famous. I haven't had a chance to eat here yet because the lines are just so long. So let's take a look at what they have to eat. They have some grilled lamb. What is this? Golupsti Kazon Le Peshka Samsa. So yeah, they have a lot of like Uzbek foods here and I'm pretty sure that they're all good because the other Uzbekistan restaurant where I ate the food was amazing so I'm sure this is good as well yo especially this this looks like oxtail oh man and this is Tashkent kebab so you always have to have a kebab place wherever you have Central Asian food so no one's in this place now I think because uh, dinner time is over but yo, look at that spinning kebab. Man, I am getting hungry. I'm actually supposed to be meeting some friends soon, so I hope they hurry up and come. And here is the menu. Man, that looks so delicious. Like this Tashkent, Tashkent kebab. I think Tashkent is uh, the main city in Uzbekistan. So this kebab is representative of the main city in Uzbekistan. And this Russian cake shop, is very, very famous. On the weekends, on Saturdays, on Sundays, wait, I don't think it's open on Sundays, but on Saturdays, there's always a line starting from over here, coming to the door. People are waiting outside. And this place is super famous. You can see here, actually, it says SBS uh, up there. That's uh, one of the Korean broadcasting networks, which means that, you know, if Korea broadcasting knows about this place it's definitely really good i've eaten here twice i've had like two of the tchaikovsky cakes and let me tell you the price is well worth it and it's not that expensive actually you can um you can get away with spending about uh twenty thousand won for two people uh, eating there it's really good this market is a godsend because when i have a like tinkling for eating Mongolian snacks. I always come here to Mandak Market. I am not saying this name correctly, but this market is really nice. Actually, they have foodstuffs from not only Mongolia, but Russia as well. So 
like look at all of the variety that they have and one of the main go-to items here as you're looking at the wide variety of tea that they have but they bake fresh bread this bread is so delicious i actually might pick one up but i'm so i've got so much food at home from other restaurants that i need to eat so here they have more of the fresh bread and this item here i saw in mongolia i usually eat that as well it's so delicious and you can find nutella and jam and all kinds of like just coffees and things in this store they have mongolian spices if you want to make your own food at home and they also have like yogurts and deli meats and cheeses and butter and candy bars oh my god not to mention perfumes they also have perfumes here like what is this what kind of store is this super nice just look at the variety here we have the fresh meats so cow cow also you can come and get some ice cream if you want for americans definitely coming here yo what are what is this i might have to come in i might have to come back and buy this this looks really good but yo the snickers the snickers boats they have a lot of boats here it's so good and then beer and assorted drinks so this place is legit okay so i bet you're thinking like francois you've only shown us like a mongolian market you've shown us uzbekistan restaurants and you've shown us or you showed us a russian cake shop i thought you said this is a central asia area well it is trust me so when my friends arrive we're gonna go to a mongolian restaurant and we're gonna walk around and i'll show you what else dongde moon market international culture market has to offer. Right, my friends finally arrived so we can get something to eat. Why don't you introduce <laughs> yourselves? Hi, my name is Tunga. I came from Mongolia, living in Korea, and it's my uh, roommate. I'm Lexi, I'm from Russia, and I'm also living in Korea. Hi! Say something cool about me. Cool about you? Yeah. He likes Mongolian, and Mongolian food, Mongolian people, Mongolia. A lot. That's just general information. Say something like, good to make me look good in front of like my YouTube family. <laughs> Go first. <laughs> he rides horses. Okay. Does I'll nobody know, yeah? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So we finally arrived. Uh, we finally arrived at the Mongolian restaurant. My friends, they got lost. They yeah, no, to, no. They no, were no, trying no. to guide no. me it wasn't the wrong us. way. No. Yeah, so no. I'm never us. trusting them no. again. It was the cameraman. Oh. Cameraman. Oh. What is this place? Wow. Oh, wow. do you first know time this here, place? Actually, oh my first god. Time. Okay, should we walk up the stairs? Are you stairs? Mongolian? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? What, what kind of acting is this? Oh, a star. Go. Okay, so we came here. Uh, it's called Ogotehang. Um, actually, it's my first time coming here with my friends. And funny thing is, uh, Francois was the one who actually found it, and he couldn't really find it. FYI, I wasn't the one who almost got She's lost. Lying. No, but he probably lost it. <laughs> no, no, no. The fried, um, fried noodle, and it's mostly loved by men. Yeah. So if you can cook very good toyuang then you're good wife material. But why? Why is that loved by men? I don't know. It's like, you know, like, you know, carbs and meat, all everything's there. So it's mostly, you know, like, I mean, loved by everyone else, but like kind of like exclusively to men. So oh. it's kind of, if you can cook good toyuang then you're good wife material. It's, there's a saying in Mongolian. Can you cook good to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Boots, <laughs> 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 <
Milk tea has arrived. We all got milk tea. Look at this milk tea. We all have wonderful milk tea. And Fanta. <laughs> this is milk tea. <laughs> I didn't get the four in a row. But three? Yeah, three. What is it called, Francois? I forgot. Yeah. I'm an American teaching a Mongolian how to play Shigai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> yeah. You know, just talk. talk. Yeah. But why camera is only on me? <laughs> just talk. Okay, so if you want to visit some countries, I recommend to visit Turkey. Because West and East combines together, Istanbul is the best place, I think. Food is also delicious, and there is a lot of countries which uh, are located near uh, Turkey, and they just put their food and culture in it, so it's really, it's incredible, actually. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, for me, well, I promised Francois not to film this, but I'll just say, uh, the country that I would is that I lived in North Korea for two to three years, which my dad had a job there to send away. And I remember there was a um, time that where my mom was kind of sneaking out of the house to go to the local market one time because we weren't allowed to go to any places without any like uh, someone else would guide it, but she insisted. Um, so yeah, like that was like the fun uh, fun fact I'd say about me, and yeah, like so f because of that, North Korea is probably the list that I would say I wouldn't visit again. So yeah. I don't know if I have the opportunity. Look at all the food that just arrived. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What is this? Gonna be great. Career life never ends. Sheesh. Okay, so we came to like this. This is Russian uh, cafe. Yes, it's Russian, Russian Uzbekistan cafe. Uh, Russian Uzbekistan cafe. Ah, so look at all these like cool desserts. This is meringue. meringue. This is cake with meringue inside. Oh. This one is like cake with the sour cream. Oh whoa. Yes. And these are it's what chocolate balls. Oh, I don't know what it is actually, but we can try. And outside they have some other. Snacks. Let's go. Desserts. Let's go. Look at, check it out. Let's look, check it out. Look at, this. Look at that. Cake. Ooh, that looks this is amazing. coconut cake. cake. <gasps> Souffle cake. Ooh, Souffle. Dayum. And boucher cake. Yeah, come to mama. Chocolate eclair. Eclair. Oh, eclair. Wow. Meringue. Meringue again. Honey layer cake. Raisin and walnut cake. See, this is why you have to come to this international market area in Dongdae Moon. You can find all of these desserts that you otherwise can't find in other places in Seoul. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yes, and yeah. you'll yes. find me too. <laughs> <laughs> you'll find her too. I never know what these are. What is this? I think it's like an oven though. Chimney for make samsa. And bread. Ah, right, the Uzbekistan uh, restaurant. Yes, yes, yes. Well. Because this Uzbekistan and have Russian, that's why. I want to have blinchik. You want a blinchik, okay. Yeah, there is jam, like strawberry, raspberry, cherry, currant. I love currant jam, actually. I think currant. It's the best. It's, it's best, the Singaporean best. jam, right? No, no. Black currant. This is typical Mongolian pattern. Mongolian pattern? Mongolian? Oh, Mongolian. Like, <laughs> Uzbek no, pattern. Uzbekistan. Yeah. For me, like I'm not camera shy, so I don't really like. I, I I don't know. Like for me, it's like 
giving me anxious anxiety when I'm in front of a camera. But her, like, she's like really good. Yeah, like she's really good at talking in front of. Me. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know. Like her, no. it's like perfect. It's so easy. She's giving a um, linguistic lesson. Linguistic, no. Linguistic. Okay, so if you come to this Russian Uzbek like cafe, you can even sit here and enjoy like a very authentic dining experience on these Russian Uzbek cushions. You got pillows in the background. You got like this whole tinted area that is very reminiscent of actually being in Russia or in Uzbekistan. So yeah, definitely you're gonna wanna come to this area in Dongdae Moon because it is legit. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Like I, I have this kind of carpet at my grandma's house or something. Because like it was Soviet yeah, yeah, Union, yeah, right. yes. So Mongolia is also... Yes, because it was yeah. Soviet Union previously. Okay. And all the countries have, has, like, have everything, like, mm. the same things. Yeah. So... Yeah. Peace, oh. sisters! Doo -doo. One of the cakes has oh. arrived. This is nice. one cake. Which one is this one? Honey layer cake. Honey, Honey layer cake. Oh my it's god. It's not a pancake because yeah. there's, like, not that much flour yeah, yeah. in pancakes. It's more of cottage cheese, it's condensed milk, like currant jam. In Russia, we, we have thin ones. Mm. I actually prefer this one with condensed milk more than the jam for me. I also uh, grew up we can share. Yeah. yeah. So she's teaching us how to... Eat syriniki. Eat syriniki. Cottage cheese pancakes. Wow. It's so delicious. This is just condensed, condensed milk. Condensed milk. This is black currant jam, mm. and together, this mix will do great. Mm. <laughs> wow! <laughs> makes I, it look very delicious. I thought you were gonna feed one of us, but you just ate ate it yourself, huh? Yeah. I'm okay. so sorry. Yeah. Make your own yeah. one. Okie dokie. <laughs> Help yourself. Yeah. yeah. Help yourself. He's going to try. Cottage cheese pancakes. Look at his face. Go for it! Mm, yum, 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 yum. Interesting, right? Oh, texture is like. <laughs> How was it? It's not bad. Thank you. I mean, it's. It's just unfamiliar like for you. Yeah, that's the word. It's unfamiliar. Yes, it's very unfamiliar. But it's good. Uh, uh, look it's at not bad. Face. It's not bad. It's a, a, oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's good. It's, it's good, but yeah, no thank you. It's an acquired taste. Yo, we didn't get a chance to finish this last cake, but I'm definitely coming back. You don't need to worry about that. This Uzbek Russian restaurant, cafe, bakery, this is the place to be. Yo, this is the name of the restaurant. Wow. This is the email address if you guys want to come. And it's halal. So if you're Muslim, you don't need to worry. Yo, this was an absolute amazing evening exploring Dongdae Moon's international market with two lovely young ladies. We should go to Kwanjan Sijan. What? Kwanjan Sijan. This is the place where all the like restaurants looks like a really market and it's a really good place. Ah, uh, okay, we'll go there next time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, stay, tuned. stay tuned. Hey, do you guys have any closing remarks? Well, as a Mongolian, it's very always honorable to hear Francois's love for my country. So, yeah, keep it up, Francois. Go subscribe and comment, like, whatever. Show some, um, you know, love to Francois. He's an amazing guy, okay? Can you say that in Mongolian? Um, Francois, subscribe, like, comment, touch. Dagare, unhir goi content, uh, goi uzulchit, goi zatlo, mongol, unhir hashte, terele, goi bite, uet, in buchit, buchtil, agosin zatlo show, zugel, buchtin. Subscribe, like, comment. <laughs> For me, I'm from Russia and we ate Russian desserts today. So if you are going to try something Russian, you should go to Tandemun as well. And I hope Francois will go to Russia someday to taste more delicious food and explore more 
uh, Russian culture. So, um, подписывайтесь, ставьте лайки. Увидимся в другом видео. I guess this concludes our evening. It was great to walk around this international area in Dongdae Moon. This is the most underrated part of Seoul, I think, because there are so many wonderful restaurants, bakeries, nice places to just hang out and chill with your friends, and no one comes here during the day or even at night. So make sure you come out here. Anyways, I'm out, guys. Make sure you stay hydrated. I love you as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace. <laughs>